Okay, this video is going to be about parabolas. And let me just start off by saying that parabolas should not keep you up at night. You probably, in fact, you most likely will not see a parabola on the revised GRE. So don't worry about this stuff. However, if you really are intent on getting to 168 or even 170, you really want to make sure you know everything. Then pay attention because you want to know parabolas. So what is a parabola? Well, let's draw a little coordinate plane and parabola shaped as such. A nice curving line. It actually describes the trajectory of a ball. Or, so if you throw a ball up in the air, it's going to travel in the path of a parabola. Of course, this would be an upside down description of that. But what we care about here for the GRE is how you describe a parabola. Notice that this parabola right here goes through the origin. Notice that this parabola is also opening upwards. So to describe this parabola, we want to use y is equal to x squared. There is no plus here, minus 3, plus 4, whatever, nothing there. Simply 0. All we have is y equals x squared. And notice that this parabola passes through the origin. Now, if I were to have x equals y squared, the parabola would look like this. It would actually open up horizontally to the right. You can actually try this at home. I'm not, I guess I'll do it here, but if we plugged in, let's say y is equal to two. If y is equal to two, x is equal to four. What if y is equal to negative two? Well, x is equal to four. And you can play around with points like that at home and you can dot them out and see that they indeed form a parabola. But again, that's something you may have done in high school. It's not something you need to do in the GRE. It's more about recognizing what the parabola looks like. Now, another important point is when you actually have something next to the x squared here, such as y is equal to x squared plus 1. What happens here? Well, before we had a parabola that passed to the origin. Now, if x is 0, y is going to be 1. So we have a parabola that has moved up 1. Here's that positive 1, moves up 1. Again, it's opening upwards. So let's complicate it even more. What if we put in parentheses x plus 1 squared? And we'll put another number here, plus 2. What would that parabola look like? Well, remember the plus 1 out here? The score corresponds to the plus 2 over here. So plus 1 went up here, plus 2 goes up right there. But this parabola now isn't simply x squared, it's x plus 1 squared. And this is the tricky part. If you have a number next to the x in parentheses, so in parentheses is squared, then if this is a positive, it's actually going to be shifted to the left, to the negative. And that may be counterintuitive, but think of it this way. If we put x is equal to negative 1 in here, then this makes this entire thing equal to 0 and allows y equal to 2, which is right there. So it's a point negative 1 where it's actually equal to 2. And that's where we can draw a parabola and open up this way. So that's what that parabola would look like. Again, this is on the outside of the parentheses, so this is simply positive 2. So let's do one little last exercise here. x minus 2 squared minus 3. What would that look like? Well. If I draw a coordinate plane here, we're actually going to go down 3. This is outside the parentheses. 1, 2, 3, down 3 to this point. Again, it's not negative 2 or 2 to the left, but because this is negative 2, it's 2 to the right because this number is in the parentheses. And that means our problem is way over here, opens up like this. And that's the problem. That's really one of the most important things, or I would say this is about the range of what's going to be covered on the parabola, knowing the left-right shift based on the information inside the parentheses, knowing the up-down shift based on information outside the parentheses. And again, this is when it's y equals x squared something, not when x is equal to y squared, because then you have the graph going out this way. And if you apply this shifting here, then it's going to be shifting up-down, left-right, and reverse. But even, even that's probably beyond the scope of the GRE. Just have a general sense of what I've talked about here, and that should be enough.